Hello. I wanted to answer the question, what happened when Joel and Ellie got separated in the elevator shaft? So, I made a fan game where you play as Ellie after that segment, and it was mostly put together by my friend Anime Boy and me. Other elements were just taken from public assets or whatever, but yeah, um, let's play. So I'm going to walk you through this. It has small little cutscenes, not much, but this was made a little while ago, but... And we basically just pick up where Joel fell and now we play as Ellie, so... We walk our way through the uh, hotel and I've added the ability to open drawers and scavenge, so let me just pick up some uh, stuff. There we go. And you can even look at collectibles, which is currently a little glitchy with the flashlight, but we'll ignore that. That note just basically tells you <clears throat> that there is ammo downstairs, so now it's got a little stealth tutorial. And I'm really proud of this animation of Ellie killing. <laughs> like, originally I animated it with one stab, but I added an extra stab in there. And it really gave it the oomph. Anyway, so let's go get that ammo. Yep. <clears throat> and let's see if we can take this guy out. And look how he leans against the doorway. I gave them little idle animations just to help, like, show more of their mood or whatever. They can either lean against a wall or a piece of cover, basically. But yeah, now Ellie is really strong, you see. She can lift up 20, like, 200 pound <laughs> wood boards. Anyway, this whole hotel layout is completely asinine. It doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> this was one of my first complete, like, games. So this fakes you out. It thinks you need, you need, you think you need to go to the door, but you need a key. So it makes you go this way and then some enemies uh, start walking into the scene. So let's take care of these guys. I am not good at games. <laughs> anyway, we use a brick. Because that's usually the surefire way to kill people as Ellie. I should have removed that him quote from the get behind him. Unless he's saying him. Anyway, there's a note here from the hunters. The hunters just placed this note. And then they're now looking for like where the gunfire and stuff is coming from because apparently there are squatters in this hotel and they've been trying to find them and now they think you're the squatters but eventually things change. Yeah. Alright, so now there's one last guy that spawns. They can actually almost see you, and then they'll go, the AI will go and check the last place that they saw movement. It's very, very basic though. Everything here, basically, like, it barely fits inside Dreams. Like, the limits on this whole level are like, like, audios at a hundred, no, uh, sculptures at a hundred percent, and the coding, the logic is at a hundred percent, basically. But, there was recently an update, meaning I can do more stuff, hopefully, anyway. So yeah, this guy just heard his friend being killed, so he's going to uh, go check it out. And then I'm just gonna... Whoop. So much ammo. Too bad I can't hit anything. Anyway, here's a rifle. Let me get a little notification that we unlocked it. And then that's me yelling, get on the gun. <laughs> Someone, uh, you gotta avoid this, so you wait till they stop firing and then you advance. Someone pointed out how ridiculous it is, it is. there's a 50 cal turret <laughs> in a hotel hallway. But, you know, I don't care. I, I wanted to do something that was a bit action-y, and there's not much you can do in a hotel. Anyway, you shoot this, and that kills the turret, which is now my friend's voice. So the turret... <laughs> is both possessed by me and my friend, Space Pirate Fenrir. He did all the, uh, the enemy voices. Oh shit, that guy comes out. I really like the way he comes out and aims at you. I didn't really program it much, it just naturally looked... 
like authentic the way that he, he uh, came out. Anyway, so this is like some kind of quarantine like hallway where people would line up. So I put like graffiti, not graffiti, writing or whatever. Anyway, now we go into like almost the bowels of the hotel where we find this room that seems to have had a lot of strange things happen to it. And you can tell the hunters have located where the squatters were staying. Anyway, here's another note. You can read it if you want, doesn't matter. I basically just put the notes and stuff in because that's what the game had. My mo Most of the notes were written by uh, Anime Boy. Anyway, so Ellie lifts a gigantic, heavy mother trucker of a, <laughs> of a wood, board. <laughs> wood board. Anyway, next encounter. So they're still looking for the squatters. And now our next course of action is to exit the area, but turns out you need a key for this strange like place door so we have to kill these guys let me get my uh, rifle out the enemies turn black when they die because it was cheaper than having customizable ragdoll uh, clothing bits so they just turn black plus it's dreams is rated teen so I just there's no blood and I cut the Oh, I love how that guy just burst through. I, I programmed him to do this little scene. He's like, I know you're in here. And I know who you are. Urgh, I'm going to get you and stuff like that. But yeah, he has a little monologue. It would be better if it had voice acting, but I couldn't really get many actors. And I, yeah. So I just went with the enemy voices and I felt like, you know, I wanted people to play the game and I didn't want to delay it anymore. So I'm just like, you know what? Slash this guy. No, I didn't do the animation. Oh. Well. So anyway, we make our way through here, and there's another guy here with a shotgun, and he's gonna follow his little path, and then I'm gonna jump out and give him a big hug. There we go. <laughs> anyway. So a lot of people, they try to climb through these windows and stuff, and that's not really what's supposed to do, and I should have closed them, honestly, but... <laughs> yeah, so we break the lock on this door, and then we get one of those look-at moments that Naughty Dog loves so much. There's the bridge, the Pittsburgh Bridge. We're still on our way to the bridge, as is the actual level, and I think I'm going to heal now. Forgot the controls for a half a second, that was great. Anyway, so now we've got a ladder to climb down and into the next and final encounter. Okay, so now they've figured out that it's not the squatters killing them, it's the man and the girl. So now we get to take them out. That guy, that guy has a shotgun, so I'm going to take him out first so I can get his weapon. I went with the same weapons that Ellie gets when you play as her in the main story of the game. Oh, I didn't pick up the... There we go. Okay, let's shotgun these dudes. Got him. You can actually climb this ladder on this Winnebago. And this is a good place to like... If I had a Molotov, I could throw it at them. The Molotovs come around later. Oh shit. Got him. Alright. Here come the Molotov dudes. Now these guys are actually voiced by me, so let me see if I can get them to talk. They're just gonna... There we go. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. I wanna hear them again. might kill each other. There we go! <laughs> you killed your friend! Now when they scream, that's back to... <laughs> that's back to Space Pirate Fenrir screaming as them. Anyway. That's, that's, that's AI for you. Uh, mine, anyway. 
Anyway, this is the ending cutscene. Here we go. Joel gets knocked in the water, and this is apparently where Ellie got in. I don't know. Uh, it, it's not. It doesn't make any like physical sense space-wise, but <laughs> uh, that was my The Last of Us fan game. The Last of Us Ellie checks out. It's made in dreams, and it is available to play now on PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five. Thank you, and goodbye.